my channel. I'm Lori. Welcome. Um, I'm filming this on Monday the 30th. So when you see this, it will be past Memorial Day, but still happy Memorial Day. <laughs> yeah, let me move this a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to put this up Saturday since we're going camp on Sunday. But I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I'm going to be taking with me. So let's get started. Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we? <laughs> okay. So, of course. I had to take my annotating stuff. So. And some bookmarks. And I had to have some chapstick. Just in case. So I got... This chapstick. Sorry, my nose is itching. I have two things of post-it notes, just in case I don't want to write in the notebook. I have a whole bunch of my, if I can grab it. Because my, this one doesn't, <laughs> the what you call it, stuck from the bookmark. <laughs> I have the bookmark in here as well. So I have a whole stack of tabs. What, whatever you want to yeah, tabs. And then I have some bookmarks. Of course, this is going to spoil one of the books, but you guys should know that I was going to take it. Because I was mentioning it, that I wanted to reread it. And that is, I have history, huh? That we can make some. And then I have... I met the man of my dreams last night in chapter five. I have, I have to have one of my Onley James um, book marks. I'm not taking Onley James, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, you shouldn't taunt a supervillain when you smell like prey. That one is from Headcase. And then I have a couple of creepy books that I want to read. One book I don't have yet. It'll be here supposedly sometime today. It's a reread for me anyway. So I got the creepy pumpkin one. Because I'm going to read, uh, I'm beginning today, um, Clown in the Cornfield by Adam, whatever his last name is. It's a reread. My daughter had the had it and she had the hardback. But I can't annotate hers. So um, I'm going to be getting that book in paperback where I can annotate it. Before book two comes out, book two don't come out until August 23rd, so I got plenty of time, but I want to try to maybe read it during camping. Um, I have drank good coffee, read good books. I have the um, Wyland and Jasper from Six of Crows slash Cricket Kingdom. I have angsty romance book lover. And a stabby one. <laughs> I have, I'm not going to open it up, but I got all my markers for Anna if I want to underline, you know, or and stuff like that. My candy is over here, so I'm moving it. Of course, I had to take some book sleeves just in case it rains or just to put the books in so I got this one sorry about the fur that's what happens when you have animals I have this one I can survive well enough on my own if given the proper reading material and of course my favorite fairy tale Beauty and the Beast so I have that it has the zipper. This one has the snap. And this one has a, a, a little one that goes over. So each of them close. But it says, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. So this is a book I got from Book View. Boo, boo, how do you say it? This is, even though I don't get Owl Crate anymore, this is an Owl Crate one. But I do love this one, so I'm not going to get rid of it. And then this one is just plaid. So. And then I got my 
book light that I showed you guys the other day that I got from the Crate Joy a while ago. So I got that for nighttime. If I can get my battery back into my camera, I'm gonna charge that and take my my um, my camera, but I'm not gonna grab that. If not, then I'll just take pictures on my phone. Then I got a couple of coloring books, the one I showed you guys yesterday in one of my videos. So, and the coloring crayons are in with my annotating stuff. It was this one in case you guys didn't watch the um, watch my video when I was showing off all the stuff I got that one day. And then it shows the different colors there. But that's in my bag. And then I have Percy Jackson. So I got a couple of coloring books. And now we're to the last step. Oh, of course, I gotta take my, <coughs> excuse me. I gotta take my headphones, so we got that. And of course, I'm gonna take this in case I'm not in the mood for, to hold a physical copy. And I have my tablet. This is what's bad about having animals. <coughs> Plus my allergy, it really kicks up my allergies that far. <coughs> okay, books now. Okay, this one I got yesterday, so this is the first time you're gonna see it. Hide by Kristen White. Kristen? Kristen? I don't know how you say her name, but look at this. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that cool? Like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. This one has to do with, um, it's just like that on the, uh, on the, um, Nike cup, because part of it, whatever you want to say. But, <coughs> about this uh, there, there's this abandoned um what do you call it abandoned carnival what do you want to call it amusement park and <coughs> excuse me boy let me get a sip of my water really quick oh it's like a game a whole bunch of people are together and they're supposed to hide and whoever don't get caught is supposed to win, I guess, a whole bunch of money or something. And when she, when the one girl gets there she, and they're playing the game, the um, contestants are all, like, being, like, going missing. So, yeah. And God bless you! <laughs> Hannah's been, her allergies are really, really, really flared up. Worse than mine. But, anyways... And she thinks, like, oh, I can hide, you know, I can, like, you know. But then she ha she realizes that, that the people that are still left, they really should team up together. Because it'll be safer, maybe that way. <laughs> and people won't disappear quite as easy, I guess. So that one. Of course, I already mentioned I got to take Red, White, and Royal Blue because I want to reread it. So I'm super excited to reread it again. Like, I wanted to kind of take the tabs out and retab it, but in another way, I don't, because look at all this. Like, look at, you know, like, these tabs are special, because I love the book so much, so the tabs are spe extra special. But you guys already know what this is about. I'm not even going to explain. You don't know what it's about. I don't know where you got that. I have, um, Sweat and Soap, because it's short, so yeah. And... I'm not sure how you say the author's name. I already gave you guys like an other haul. I mean, I've been talking about a lot of these books because I because they're gonna be on a lot of my um, my readathons that I'm participating in. So, but this one is gonna be um, sounds like it's gonna be fun. So I'm excited for that. Then I got Out of the Blue by Jason June. I have to take that. No. It's set in stage for camping. <laughs> I already told you about clor 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 ugh, Clown in the Cornfield. So I'll probably get that in that later today. I have, of course, another Kiss Me Clesson. I kiss Shara Weller. That sounds like it'd be fun. They're going, like, they have to go run around and, you know, try to find what happened to the girl. And so 
Sounds like it's gonna be an adventure, so yeah. I had my friend, excuse me. I took a picture of three books, excuse me. <laughs> Boy, I think it was this one that I took a picture of three books and my friend Clint from Read, Read Readers, or I might've got it backwards. It might've been the opposite way. But anyways, I had him um, pick out of the three, which ones I should, which one I should read. I believe it was this one that he said that I should read. Blaine, Blaine for the win, yeah. Blaine for the win. He said it was really good by Robbie Coach. Couch. Um, Oh yeah, that's the one where his th that guy that's real popular breaks up with him, and um, because he said that he's not serious enough, and he needs someone that he's getting older. You know, he's like what you call it. So he needs someone that takes life seriously, and so he wants to run against um, the guy that he starts dating for like student council president or something like that. So sounds like fun. And the last one. Love, Hate, and Clickbait by Liz Bower. Bower. This is supposed to be kind of like Red, White, and Royal Blue. And yeah, so I'm super curious. This one was for new to you author. When I did, when I pulled prompts from the uh, my TBR jar and fulfilled it. So yeah, that one's that was that. So, sorry, I got a little bit of a headache. But I think that is it. Of course, I'm sure there's gonna be other things I take. But this one is I'm so excited for. I think I'm going to prioritize this one, hide, and I kiss Shara Weller, or the uh, or out of the blue, for sure. And then the other ones I'll read if I can get to them. But I'm definitely going to be rereading. I mean, rereading um, Red, White, and Royal Blue in June. Well, by the time you see this, this month. <laughs> so. Yeah. That is it. Uh, if you guys like this video, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video is up for your viewing pleasure. You guys know what I always say, DNF, 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 don't be afraid, uh, DNFing. You don't have enough time in the day to worry about a book. So, and waited and waited for that book to get better and better and better, and it never gets better. So, <laughs> but anyways, until next time, I am out of here. Happy readings. Thanks for being awesome. And I hope June is a good month for you reading wise and just a good month in general and if you go in if anybody else are going on vacation during june stay safe stay hydrated i'm trying to so i got i'm almost done with my water that's in here then i got the other half of the water here so i am trying to be a good girl and not drink so much pop even though i do have pop in here as well But I've had the pop in the hair since. I mean, I started that pop. God bless you. I started that pop last night. So it was like the, it had this much this morning. And then I drunk from there to where it's at now when earlier today. So, and of course, I'm going to take some hair things. I should be getting a new hair um, things tomorrow. Like these from... Um, why do I always forget the name of the name of Why do I always forget the name of it? But yeah, I'll be getting more of these. Excuse me. But not this, not this one, of course. Excuse me, I'll be getting. But yeah, definitely not this one, but some other ones in different um, types. But Fa Fable, Fable Band, that's the name of it. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to relax for a little bit until either my mom wakes up or until it's 1230 and I have to give her medicine. So, 
I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever the case may be when you guys see this. And again, you know, stay safe if you're going anywhere. And like I always, like I've been saying lately, please just remember to hold on to your loved ones. If you guys are arguing, please try to find a way to quit arguing. Because like I said, you don't know when your time is going to be up. So, or your loved one's time is going to be up. So just think about that. And I love you guys all. Thanks for watching. And until next time, like I said, happy reading. Thanks for being awesome. And I'm out of here. Bye.